I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa taking on Chelsea. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? He's on the ball all the time and his ability on the ball is absolutely phenomenal. He doesn't pass the ball away, he lends it to his teammates because he wants it back. Very difficult to get the ball off him. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And a look Thank at the Chelsea know. starting 11. Antonio Rudiger starts alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the match is underway. Douglas Luiz. Bertrand Traoré has it. Unable to keep the ball. McGinn. Here's Grealish. John McGinn. Barkley. And smart defending. Oh, good vision. Now the task is to remain focused. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. One nil then. Tyrone Mings. Now with Ross Barkley. Ollie Watkins. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. John McGinn. And Grealish. Matt Target might be onto something with that ball. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Chilwell now with Havertz. <laughs> 